We are the Saturdays. What you're about to see is an access all areas insight into our sold out headlines tour. But remember, what goes on tour stays on tour. Come on now, let's do this. High fives. High fives, everyone. Let's Yay! Okay. Yes! This time on the Saturdays, what goes on tour. Yay! Kids. I just think they're hazardous. I'm just so bored of it now. My confidence is just sort of something on. <laughs> they need to focus. It's showtime, people! I keep on messing up the words. <laughs> This is the story of the tour through my eyes. Let's start by finding out what the other girls think about me. One, two, three, four, five, let's do this thing! Michelle is like the big sister of the band. <laughs> yes, I always know that she's going to look after us. Oh, my God! This is very relaxing! If ever I needed some advice or anything, Michelle would be the one I'd go to. What's this for? That's better, yeah. that's better. We've known each other since we were nine, so we kind of have this, like, unsaid bond. <laughs> She's just really funny. I'm in her bum! I just have so much fun with her. <laughs> That's a funny thing. She's a really good imitator of people as well. Being Tyra Banks. Own it, work it. She's good with relationship advice. If there's any single ladies in the area. I think Rochelle's a bit of a, a trendsetter. She's got a massive stain of beetroot on me. Rochelle's very organised. Did you get that? Yeah. Yeah. Very together. <laughs> I think sometimes we need that because five girls together it can go a bit like. Nah, nah. 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 Probably annoy them half the time because I'm like a big bossy boot. <laughs> well, that's enough about me. Let's get on with the tour. Capital FM, London. It's going to be mostly dry today in London. Sunny spells and a bit of cloud around with highs of eight. Right now in Canary Wharf, it's. This has got to be a real month. <laughs> Proper focus, hard work, no moaning, everything. It's about getting this to be amazing, whatever it takes. The story of the tour begins back in January. It was our first day back after Christmas. It became clear the festive season had got the better of us. The thought of doing an hour and a half show every Ooh. night at the minute dancing and singing makes me want to cry. It seems like the tour is so far away on the first day. Five, six, seven, seven. I'm not used to being the first pick, not the cool chick from the incorrect. Just two of those, mine, not 24. Paul was like whipping us into shape. He was like, come on girls, another go, another go. So it was kind of like routine after routine. I'm happy coming in here with a hangover or tired or you know, you have to leave all your problems at home. You know, it, it just feels like I'm all arms and legs. You have to be so mentally switched on for this. Right, here we go then. Phones down. We're easily distracted, definitely. Come on, girls, please. It's coming together slowly but surely. And as you can see, they think they have it in the bag, otherwise they would be rehearsing now and not talking. I think there's always pressure when you're going to put on a show, but I think the pressure mainly comes from us five because we want to put on the best show for our fans. Our workout regime is pretty hardcore. Just look how fit we are in slow-mo. Today we're in the studio with Priscilla and we're going through all the songs that we're doing on our tour and there's loads of songs that we've never performed before so we're just going through every single harmony and every single bit because we have to be really on point. Hey boy, I really want to see you. You can go downtown with a girl like me. Hey boy, I really want to see you. Go downtown with a girl like me. Rehearsals are kind of one of those things where you're either really enjoying yourself or you're really stressed out. There's kind of no in between. I don't want to stand there and watch me burn. That's nice. Yeah. Try that. Comfortable with that? Yeah. Can you try the music? They're always busy, always doing stuff. They're always out of the country, here, there and everywhere. And it's not always easy to get the girls in to prepare them for a tour. I don't know why. When 
I'm singing, I feel so aware that everyone's listening. I just put a lot of pressure on myself to be good at everything. Yeah. The girls sound great and my stuff keeps cracking. It's just like a vicious cycle. My confidence is just sort of something going... Problems start to come out that probably wouldn't, you know, happen if you wasn't going on talks just the way it always goes. Like, Frankie was getting a bit, like, not so confident and Molly was having trouble with her leg dancing, which is kind of a reoccurring problem. But yesterday, Molly picked up an injury and before we knew it, we had tears. I really can't go on stage with this um, sexy knee strap. It's not quite the look I was going for. It's a bit more 50 cent than me. But I'm walking with a bit of a gangster limb. Gangster isn't quite the word I'd use. She's kind of been resting it today. Let's hope but she doesn't miss too much. It's just horrible to have to sit on the sideline and learn the routines just by watching rather than actually doing it. The last week's not been the best week. Um, we've kind of taken a couple of steps forward and three steps back. It got to a point where we needed to get away from the distractions of London and go to a production boot camp in Real. Phones and iPads were banned as we were seriously put through our paces. We went to Real and did a week or so of just rehearsing out, getting on the stage and just make sure you know what you're doing. And do you know what? It's definitely like a bit of a boot camp and it's full on. Nice, fresh, crisp morning here in Real. Keeping it real? In Real. <laughs> I'm going to get to see what the set looks like yeah, now for the first time. Oh my god, it's massive! Oh, Look at our lights! Oh, we could have be up there performing as well. Yeah, <laughs> the first time we saw the set, we were like little kids. This is so much better than last year. Oh my god, this is so good! We're big time now, kids! To see it all there, you're kind of like, wow! I think it's wicked. I think it's a lot more complicated than we thought. Oh my god, it's really slippery. And there's no rain. I'm not yeah. the best with, with heights. It's very uneven. Oh my god. Yeah, why is it so uneven? Listen, listen, no, 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 stand up, stand up, stand up. Oh no, I can't. When you first go on there, it is a bit scary, but they're fine. When do we go back down? I think they're just panicking unnecessarily. I've already tripped up and I'm in Uggs. It's not a good sign. I was just explaining to the girls that so much to do today. It's probably going to be like a 14 hour day, so no distractions. That means you too, Molly. <gasps> Come on. Come 10, on. 9, <laughs> eight, oh my God. 7. They're all in agreement. They turn their phones off, leave them in their bags, so um, we'll see how long that lasts. 3, 2, 1. Mm. Send, yeah. go, finish. Get ready for a montage. We're going to show you just how hard we worked. Good to be back on tour. Are you on your mark? I've just got to just keep doing the exercises. Oh, look who it is. I really like it when Marvin comes to watch me rehearse. Sometimes the dance moves are a bit stiff, so I have to just... Sort of... he's, he's there, he's on hand just in case I'm not up to scratch. I think Marvin would love to be the sixth Saturday. It's like he thinks he is. Say my name, say my name, wear it out. Air it out! <laughs> They're good! My first go. I'm not scared of routines, not scared of the singing. It's the steps. That's what I'm more scared of. If I hear one more person talk about the stairs... I'm scared. I just can't do it in heels. These just worry me because they're so high. I just think they're hazardous. If I feel like I'm falling off, yeah, I will. There were times when I just didn't think we'd be ready for our opening night. I kind of feel like we haven't really done very much for the amount of time we've been here. I'm starting to get a bit nervous, but it's just my singing again. As you get nearer to the first day, your stress levels get really high. It's all getting a bit much. We've only got two days, and there's so much that needs doing still. Everyone's freaking out a bit. <laughs> They need to focus. Ready, set, go. It's good that we're ironing out all the problems. Sometimes you just got to work with what you're given. When I just feel like everything's coming together and it's all right, now I've got a sore throat. The show must go on. I'm just so bored of it now. Am I nervous? Um, ask me just before we're going up on the first night. No shows tomorrow and I can't even talk. <laughs> you never know.
OK, so you're here in Liverpool at the Philharmonic. Such a good place to start as well, because we know we'll get a huge reception. Definitely one of the best crowds. We're just pulling up to the venue for our opening yeah. night, which is a little bit nerve-wracking, <laughs> but um, it's exciting. Oh, my God, it's a Thank you, just hold your shoulder. Thank you. This. To me, it's like, this is it, this is where it starts properly. I'm always more nervous the first night than any other night because I've been unsure of how it's going to go and will everything come together. We've got a few issues here, which is not great on your first show. My voice was really playing up, which was horrible. Hopefully she's kind of rested herself. Going from rehearsals in real to actually doing a show in Liverpool, it's, it's a different feeling. The closer we got to the start, the nerves were really kicking in. Can't wait to see the Saturdays, means off in Liverpool, they're going to be amazing. They just inspire me, like we keep the fun. That's when it runs through, it's best always to just do it before they go on. If you want a diamond, twist and a full of rocks, what? All the different qualities, so you couldn't get from me. But this is the routine, aren't we, Molly? I know. Get five of these. Me and my heart, we got a shoe. First night, come on now, let's do this. High five. High fives, everyone. Let's okay. The first show was a leap into the unknown. We had to just stick together and get through it. Show. I'm chuffed. The crowd were like, wow! I was like, I felt, I, I felt like I was gonna that. cry. Was you really good? <laughs> yeah, good. Really good. How was it? Tell us the it truth. Was great. I had a really good show, but I can't really speak now, and I kind of lost my voice. Now we've done the first one. It can only get better. Coming up next time, it's Frankie's turn to show you why what goes on tour stays on tour. If you fart, I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> Is she really getting out like that? <laughs> I'm sorry, gonna have to talk to her.